do rad wisdom here folks and welcome to Earth Day Y2K 18.06.20 just 139 days until the midterm elections this is Trader Trump's totalitarian gambit and it is succeeding as I've said over and over like a memory fading old man I have never deluded myself about the creep now invading our country and our lives. Everything he is doing is part of his totalitarian plan to upturn our laws and our constitution and to bring an end to the USA as we know it. You can only first recognize a totalitarian turd if you are well informed, if you pay attention, and do not take the idea that totalitarianism happens just in one night. The totalitarians have an extremely strong foothold already in their representative, Trader Trump, who now heads our government at this time, along with his totalitarian enablers, the GOP of this era. I am thankful for my readings of my Bible, 1984, because it has given me the tool to recognize totalitarian bullshit when I see it, hear it, and smell it. The rotten reek of totalitarianism rises in noxious, putrid waves off the creep, the traitor, the birther, the Nazi, the KKK, the scumbag, Donald Trump. Do not be fooled by his ignorance and by his lack of reading. There is a sick mind at work here. And this creep has a gambit that so far, as I said before, is working almost perfectly. First, the creep is gambling on the support of a rabid fanatic base. He has decided to not give a shit about public opinion, especially in, re in regards to this separating children from parents and putting babies and, uh, and um, toddlers in concentration camps. In fact, they enjoy it. His only desire is to remain in power. So Trump's goal is to appeal to the worst of our country, the angry ignoramuses who believe that they've been stepped over. The racist cowards who want to make our country white again, just like it was after they decimated the American Indians for the most part. His gambit here was absolutely right because 42% of our country now supports this Trump interred. And that amounts to 60 million registered voters in whole numbers who without question will vote for Trader Trump even as he has them over a cracker barrel screwing them up their fundaments. Second, Trader Trump is a salesman, a con man, and he is about as religious as a cockroach. In fact, I have more respect for cockroaches than I do for him. But he knows that among the extremists who support him, there are religious fanatics who want, like Mike Pence, the permanent elimination between the separation of church, tribal law, and secular state. Trump is using these extremist religious fundamentalists like bro broken slot machines in his defunct casinos. He has promised to contaminate the Supreme Court with religious right-wing fanatics. He has promised to make abortion illegal. Totalitarian thinking and religion ideology have much in common in their emphasis on destroying a thinking mind and replacing it with a cult of personality lobotomy. Third, the next part of the Trader Trump's gambit is to bully and to be outrageous about it. Additionally, his gambit is to disguise this bullying with populism, to make it righteous and acceptable. 
His gamble too will be that well-meaning people, sincere people, will fall for this and will respond in a way that will hurt them. Especially people who are supposed to be on our side. Just look what happened when it was reported that Putin messed with our elections. Much could have been done while Obama was president. Read Russian Roulette and you'll see. Believe it or not, the traitor Trump goon manipulated those in charge, causing them to do almost nothing in the face of an obvious threat because the bully made them believe that if they did anything, it would look partisan, that they were trying to favor Hillary Clinton over Trump. Meanwhile, he won the election. Everything came out benefiting him. This is the same case for the behavior of James Comey who I think told the truth in his book and is sincere. And his book also detailed his victimization by bullies when he was growing up and his continued fight against them during his illustrious career. He referred to these mobsters as bullies, which they are. However, Comey too allowed Trump to bully him in that he was afraid that any move to hide anything about Hillary Clinton would make him look partisan. All of these competent, sincere people should have gone with their better instincts, should have realized that they were being bullied and manipulated into doing the opposite of what they were really supposed to do. He bullied all of these people, this Trump goon, including Obama and Comey, into not acting quickly enough, not acting hardly at all regarding Russian interference in our elections. Comey, who has fought bullies his entire life, failed to realize that this fight goes on until the end of one's life. Look, I I've been bullied, and there are times, even now, when I've been suckered by them. It goes on. And by the way, when I get suckered by them, I can't stop thinking about it for weeks at a time. I mean, I take medication for depression, and I have obsessive compulsion. So for me, man, that's a real torture. Again, there's around 60 million registered voters representing the 42% who support Trader Trump. He knows that the liberal and the independent side is fickle. That they may or may not support the liberal candidate or the democratic candidate. They will never be like his rabid, frothing at the mouth base. If he can just appeal to them in his not all his Nazi glory, he is assured a good 60 million votes. He also knows that there is GOP gerrymandering that supports him, GOP voter suppression that supports him, and GOP Citizens United to help skew the vote in his favor as well. We are in a pile of shit, folks, up to our mouths, underneath our noses. We, right now, ladies and gentlemen, are in a cold civil war. And if we don't do something about it, it's going to get hot. And even then, that's something Putin is just looking for. Trader Trump's final gambit is the Democrats. Contaminated by corporatism, will send a mixed message and have no clear front runner. And will get the minority of votes because those who despise Trump may vote for a third party or none at all. There may be around 85 to 90 million anti-Trump registered voters in our country, but most of them, Trump hopes, will be home jerking off on election day.